Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will be learning tuple relational calculus, and basically, we will be starting tuple relational calculus, and we will play around the basics. So, to start with, we are calling it tuple relational calculus. So we have tuple, we say it relational, and then calculus. So as we are, we will operate on tuple. We have a tuple variable t here okay so that's why the name is tuple and as we operate on relational database so we have relational word here okay and we will be using the methods of predicate calculus here okay so all the expressions will involve predicate calculus so we have word calculus Here, this t is tuple variable means for a relation r, for example, we have this relation r, okay, and for this relation r, we will have various tuples, right? So, this, this is one t, fine, and it will range, obviously, it will range for all the tuples for this relation r, okay? So, let's write it down. So t represents each tuple, okay, each tuple of relation. Now we have something called t dot a, okay. So by writing t dot a, we mean to say that it is column So it means column A of tuple T. Fine. Now let's understand the basic form of query writing. So this is the basic format. We write this predicate calculus expression followed by the condition where the query processing is done in the following manner. So basically, first of all, all the possible tuples for a relation I mean the relation of all the possible tuples which satisfy this condition is taken okay so first of all all the possible tuples which will satisfy this condition the set of condition of course this can be a unit I mean this can can be one condition or it can be combined with the various operators and it can be multiple conditions okay so once the tuple satisfy this condition okay then this these columns from those tuples will be taken out okay so that will be the output of this tuple relational query fine so what is done first of all this can first of all from the relation or from we get a relation which satisfy this condition okay and then we take out the columns so let's understand this with an with an example so in this example we have been given a relation in which we have attribute role number name department number and sex the query is find role number and name of student in department number two okay so we have to write it in form of tuple relational calculus okay so as we have just studied first of all what we will take we will have a tuple variable right so let's take it as t fine and t will obviously belong to s okay now we have to find out what roll number and name okay so we will take t dot roll number okay and t dot name fine now our condition and yes of course from student so it has to be this t we will define here so this is student t okay so it means that this t has domain of relation student okay that means this t basically this t belongs to this relation student only fine and 
okay so this is our first condition and it has to be okay from department number 2 so what we will write t dot this department number so equal to 2 okay so this is our double relational query fine and let's say we have been given find out all find roll number name of male student so let's say I have modification male student okay then what I'll do I'll again add another condition here with and okay that t dot sex equal to male fine now I hope that basic for double relational calculus is clear for you in upcoming lectures we will be solving more complex examples to make things more clear so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching if you like this video and you want us to create more such videos please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to TechTut.